Hey everybody, this is Sala and you're watching a Smart Curve. So we are working with multiple forms. In our previous tutorial, we learned how to open form 2 from the form 1. So we know how to do that and how to work with the multiple forms. So let's now move a step further and learn how to transfer data between the forms. So in this tutorial, we will work with two forms. and We will learn how to transfer data from form 2 to form 1. Transfer data between the form is a very practical thing and you can develop many interesting applications just by applying this technique. So what is actually data transfer between the form? Let's have a look here. I have a form, I call it main form, and that form receives data from another form. And to do so, we click on this button, and when I click on this button, another form is open right here, and this form is called data form. So you see multiple forms, form one and form two, main form and data form. So here in the data form, we are gonna provide some data. Let's say first name, uh, last name, and then, email and then we have two options submit the data or to choose cancel if i choose cancel nothing would happen but when i choose okay this data is submitted and transferred to the main form let's now click on this button and now here you see data is transferred and received by the main form so this is what we are going to learn in this tutorial how to use another form to collect data and then transfer the data to the main form. So let's jump into the code and see how do we do that. In my application, I have two forms, main form and data form. Main form is green in color, as you can see here, and data form is blue in color. And both the forms have their own controls. As you can see here on the data form, we have text boxes and buttons, okay, and cancel buttons, and on the main forms, we have just label controls to show the data. And here we have the button which is gonna call uh, the data form. Now, in order to create such applications, the first step should be to establish connection between the forms. So what do I mean by connection between the forms? It simply means let the forms communicate with each other. Let the form speak with each other. Our main form is gonna establish a connection with the data form by calling the data form as a dialog box and our data form gonna establish a connection with the main form by sending a dialog response and that response can either be okay or cancel that's the first step which is need to be done and after that we will program further to get the data transferred now back to the main form we first need to register a click event to this button and for that you can simply double click on the button so here we have a click event on the button and the name of the button is get data. To call another form as we have already discussed in our previous tutorial, we need an instance variable. So we are going to call our data form from here. So we create an instance variable. Uh, let's call it data form and new data form, right? So this is our uh, instance variable of data form. Now, using this variable, we are going to show our data form and we will show our data form as dialog, right? So that we can get the response back. So we need to call the show dialog method. So what will happen now, as I run this application and click on the button, form 2 of the data form is going to show itself. So let's now check it out. Let's now click on the button and you will see form 2 of the data form. Now, this data form is displayed as dialog using show dialog method. And the show dialog method gives us the opportunity to program buttons, uh, also dialog buttons, so that we can get the response back from the dialog box. For example, if I press OK, so dialog result OK will be the response. And when I click cancel, dialog result cancel will be the response. So we need these two buttons to be the dialog buttons so that we can get the response back, which button is clicked by the user. So let's see how do we do that and uh, here is our data form let's first select the ok button in the property window you will see a property which is called dialog result right and here you have a pull down menu now you can see this button is not a part of any dialog result but you can connect it to the dialog result click on this uh, pull down menu and here we are gonna choose OK, right? So it's our OK button. And now we are gonna select the cancel button and the response 
dialog response that we are going to choose here is cancel so now we have program over buttons they have become dialog buttons and they will send the response back to the form to the main form so in our main form here when we are calling the dialog box so we will capture the response and the response is in the form of dialog result and we are gonna save the response uh, in a variable of uh, dialog result type and then simply in an if statement so we will code like if response equals dialog result of okay so we will do something and if let's say response equals dialog result cancel then we are gonna do something now you can see we have established connection we can check our application out by just displaying a message box say you click ok right before we run this application let's just have a look what we did here we are calling our data form and this form is going to provide a response a dialog a result response that we are going to save in this variable and then we are further processing the response in the if statements here right if the response is okay so we are going to display this message and if the response is cancelled so we are going to display this message let's now run this application open the data form click ok you can see you clicked ok now once again open the data form click cancel and you will see you click cancel now you can see connection between the forms they are actually communicating with each other they are sending each other response right but the first step is completed let's now move on and code the second step in the second step we will get the data transferred back to the main form so now i am inside the data form and our data form has two buttons okay and cancel and it has three text boxes right for first name last name and email so the first step might be here to create some variables and save uh, data in them so we create variables here first name so here we have our variables and when the ok button is clicked we are gonna save the data right so here we are assigning the text box data to our variables and i did not change the name of my controls as you can see here text box one two three but when you will code you will definitely give them some good names another thing that i am not doing here is the data validation as you can see i am taking the string of the text from the text box and assigning it directly to the variable so when you program i would suggest to do some data validation right and now when the cancel button is clicked uh, we won't uh, send anything back i'm gonna empty all the variables so these are our variables we need to read back in our main form so how can we make these variables accessible in the main form and the answer is we can uh, make them accessible to another class with the help of properties in a class we actually code properties in order to get and set uh, variables values the data form that we have here is just a class as you can see here and these three variables which we created here are called class variables or member variables and in order to read these variables outside of this class data form class we need to code public properties right so we can make these variables accessible to other classes by using properties so we need to code one property for each type of data like one property for first name one property for last name and another property for email and let me tell you one thing this concept is advanced 
if you have no idea about the classes then i would say uh, do some homework and learn how do we code classes so we are going to code three properties which are going to uh, return the data from here the first property name is first name and it only has get accessor so it will uh, return our first name variable right uh, this is our first property and now we are going to code the second property the name of the property is last name it also has a get part and it will return the uh, last name variables value and finally we need another property email in the get accessor we are going to return the email so now we have properties named first name last name and email and these properties make class variables accessible to us so now in the main form uh, we have three uh, labels uh, to show the data and they are named label one two and three and uh, in the code right here when we are getting the response okay from the uh, from the data form we will code something like this uh, label one dot text and now we will use uh, our data form instance variable here uh, data form and now we will call our property which is uh, first name right and now we will repeat this to our second uh, field using the data form instance variable now we are going to call the property last name and to the label 3 we will call uh, the property email that's it now we can uh, program the cancel response uh, we just need to copy and paste from here but when the cancel button is clicked uh, then we are going to send the uh, empty string as you can see in our uh, data form okay when the cancel button is clicked so we are just resetting the values in our variables let's now check it out one last time so open the data form provide some data here now okay data is submitted now once again i don't want to provide data i click on the cancel and I will say the empty strings, right? So this is how my friends, we code to get data from another form. I hope this tutorial and technique gonna help you out in your projects. I will see you around and thanks for watching.